I've built a completely automated AI research and social media scheduling agent for myself to research latest AI news and post to Twitter. I'm using Perplexity and N8N for this. Welcome to day two of 100 Days of AI. My name's Craig Hewitt. Let's dive in. So uh, if you were with us yesterday, we built a uh, N8N workflow to parse the Castos blog feed, uh, send a message to OpenAI to have it summarize the latest blog post and post that to the Castos subreddit. We have our own subreddit. I wanted to announce new blog posts and features and announcements from the company to that subreddit as that's our community platform. Today, we're sticking with a similarly uh, straightforward workflow, but we're introducing two new concepts one of which is an AI agent. I'll talk about that in a minute. And the model that this is using, or the tool this is using really, is perplexity. Perplexity is a fantastic tool for doing research, and that's why we're using it for this purpose here. I think a big part of what we're doing with AI and tooling is picking the right tool for the job. So OpenAI and ChatGPT is not always the best go-to. We'll use a lot of different tools throughout the course of the 100 days of AI here. Uh, and for the purpose of getting the latest news around AI or anything, Perplexity or maybe Grok is 100% the best tool to use. And so we're using that here, and I'll go into that more specifically. And then an agent just more broadly is uh, a tool that has several different arms and resources at its disposal. So um, let's go through this workflow and this will make a little more sense. So we're starting with just a trigger, right? So this is gonna start every three hours at the 15 minute mark. I made 15 minutes just to make it look a little more uh, kind of random. If you wanted, you could make this like some kind of random number generator here, but we'll just go with straight. Every three hours at the 15 minute mark, this is gonna then call this agent. And this agent has um, a purpose and set of instructions. So it first says, hey, call the perplexity sonar model uh, attached to you to get the latest native, uh, AI news of the day. Commit that to memory. Uh, and so this agent has memory. Uh, then say you are a sharp, witty, insightful AI industry commentator. Take the following news items and write a tweet in 280 characters or less. Um, never be boring, right? Typical kind of AI prompting stuff here. Uh, and then this has three things that this AI agent can use. We talked about perplexity and I'll pull up perplexity here. Um, and so we've connected our perplexity API account. If you don't have one, just go get one. It's pretty straightforward. Um, the tool is being set automatically here uh, and we're messaging the sonar model. So sonar is the name of the model in perplexity. That's kind of the real time research API tool. And this is the prompt that we are using here. Give me one major news story in the AI world in the last 24 hours. Focus on this. Um, and include a link, right? You must return one item and it will return this as JSON, I think. Um, and then the model that this agent is using is ChatGPT OpenAI 4.0. Um, and then it will send this to Twitter. I created a Twitter account, uh, developer account here. Uh, so this is the N8N docs on Twitter. Uh, and you'll just need to create a developer account and uh, set up a project here. And it'll give you an API key and a secret. And that's what you'll use to authenticate in uh, to Twitter in N8N. And then all you're doing is say, I want to create a tweet and the output is uh, the output from the previous nodes. Okay, so let's run this and see what happens. So even though this is on a scheduled trigger, we can manually do this because we're in the editor. So you see the agent is running, it's calling perplexity now. Um, it will then probably go back to OpenAI once it has the bits of news, great. Uh, it stored that to memory and it posted to Twitter. So let's go back to my Twitter profile and see what this has to say. Cool, so just now, so Anthropic turns up the heat, banning OpenAI for rule breaking. This class marks a pivotal point as market power shift. Uh, and then I'm linking to the bit of AI news for the day. Cool, um, so you can see the one here that didn't work from before, so I'm gonna delete that. <laughs> um, cool, uh, and so, you know, this is not gonna be every bit of my social media strategy going forward, right? I don't want to be the automated AI bot that just is regurgitating everybody else's stuff. But I do think, again, just like we talked about yesterday, 
if I can take and not have to think about uh, committing my part to the AI news and Twitter infrastructure, just because Twitter is kind of the place I tend to go when I want to see what's going on in the tech world, that's cool. So if every three hours I can go find a piece of AI news, which I'm doing using perplexity, uh, if the agent can then write a reasonable tweet that summarizes that and then links to the piece and posts it to my Twitter for me, that's a win, right? And so this is the goal of AI automation is to take things off my plate and have them done automatically all the time going forward. Now for this one, one thing I might do, and we didn't do this here, but I might uh, introduce the concept of human in the loop. And so human in the loop, if you wanted to explore this is like, hey, I want to send this somewhere for you to take a look at and approve. Uh, and so you can say like, hey, I wanna send this in Slack maybe. Um, so send and wait for a response maybe. You, you might do this, we're, we're not going to, but, but you might. And uh, if you did that, then this would send the output of this to Slack. And then you would just message back, yep, looks good, or no, that's terrible, throw it away. Uh, and it wouldn't just randomly post to Twitter for you. So that's an option for you. If you wanna have the kind of human in the loop bit, you can send it to something like Slack or Discord or email or a text message probably. Um, and that would give you some editorial oversight over things. But for this, I'm just going to let it run wild and we'll just see. I'll keep an eye on my Twitter. And if this agent starts going crazy, I'll come in and update either the kind of agent prompt or uh, the prompt maybe that I send to OpenAI or the research prompt that I'm using when I'm pinging Perplexity's API. So uh, this is day two of 100 Days of AI. If you want the resources for this and this exact kind of template that you can upload right into Perplexity, Link is in the description below. Just drop your email in. I'm giving all of the resources, all of the templates, all of the prompts I'm using for all 100 days here in the 100 Days of AI uh, and for free to everybody. So just drop your email in. I'll send it to you. Uh, and I hope you enjoy. And I hope you're following along. If you're enjoying this, please like, subscribe, smash the bell, and tell a friend about this so they can follow along in the 100 Days of AI too.